now with a rare and fascinating odyssey through a priceless collection of American artifacts. Yes, these are the people who hold the keys to our history as a people and a country. ABC's Kira Phillips takes us inside the riches of the Smithsonian. Let us use history to inspire us to push a country forward, to help us believe that all things are possible. From his prestigious perch within the storied Smithsonian Castle, you're listening to a promise Dr. Lonnie Bunch made to himself at the age of 10. When you were a little boy and you wanted to visit museums, your dad would only drop you off in front of the Smithsonian. Why? He pulled into Washington, stopped in front of the Smithsonian, and said, here is a place where you can understand yourself, your history, and not have to worry about the burden of the color of your skin. So it is unbelievably humbling to be a part of it. Um, and it's a tad frightening to be in charge of it. In charge of the world's largest network of museums, plus 21 libraries and the National Zoo. Bunch is also the Smithsonian's first African-American secretary. The death of George Floyd Black Lives Matter, the protests, the insurrection. Do you feel added pressure because you are an African-American? Well, to be honest, as a black man, I've always had the pressure, regardless of what job I was in. What's really been the key to my sort of understanding myself in history is how does a country find fairness? The Smithsonian doesn't have a political agenda. Our goal is to make a country better. And to find hope through history. Welcome to the bowels of the basement in the National Museum of American History. For the first time, you're getting an exclusive look at how our past year of a pandemic and racial reckoning will be remembered here in the Smithsonian forever. That's the very first Pfizer vaccine. The first Pfizer vaccine given in the United States. This is an unprecedented sneak peek into history preserved. Not just for us, but also this museum's first female director, Dr. Anthea Hartig. We have to collect to remember. Reminding us all that our future lies in preserving the past, thanks to curators who secure these collections. Frank Blazich is with the Smithsonian's rapid response teams, collectors dispatched during historical crises. Frank took us back to where he saved those signs you just saw now archived within the Smithsonian and where he tore through the trash after the Capitol Hill insurrection. I found two American flags, a file folder of copies of the Battle Hymn of the Republic, and I even found a small uh, personal defense hand whip or hand baton that had been buried down in the bottom of a trash can. America's treasure found in the trash. Collecting today for tomorrow. How do you want to see the Smithsonian make an impact on social justice? The question really is, is it a moment where we take advantage of where we are? Do we say, what kind of country do we want to be? What does fairness really mean in the 21st century? As many people have said, it's a struggle for the soul of America. A struggle, Secretary Bunch says, will be protected and preserved. I come out of a community that said, you will stand on the shoulders of others and you will open the door for others and you will be better. So what I want is the country to believe that, is to recognize that when America comes together, it's amazing what we can accomplish. While living up to that promise he made to himself decades ago. And to demand a country live up to its stated ideals. Oh. And we thank our Kira Phillips for that story. Uh, it's the only one we needed today. A nice reminder, nice history lesson. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and it, it's so wonderful to have someone like that leading the way in preserving our history. All right, so thanks again, Kira. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.